Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I have a pretty good product, a couple of products that I found on Amazon and one of them was an absolute necessity because I have found myself out in the field several times and I was lacking and I had to do the walk of shame all the way back to my car to go and get more tools. And I thought, why do I do this to myself? So today we're gonna change things up. I got some new products. We're gonna go ahead and take a look and uh, let's see what you guys think. Coming up next, right here on Better Biomed. All right, guys. Well, let's get right into it. We got some new tools. I'm very excited about these because hopefully this will solve some problems that I've been having. Uh, let's start out with the, the Nipex. The Nipex. Now, this one here is a tool that's been advertised on um, Amazon like crazy. And, you know, I'm one of these guys where I see a, a tool like this. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I really could probably use that. Or I, I hope it's better quality than the stuff I'm currently using. The one I'm currently using is this guy right here. This is a flush cutter. And although my camera is picking it up and my chroma key is going nuts, it has a blue handle, which over time it has um, discolored to a kind of green, which is why the chroma key wants to like go absolutely crazy with it. Look at that, Whoop, that's kind of cool. Um, so these are my flush cutters and these are some of the ones that I keep here in the shop. Now, there are several variants of these. Now, I believe these are the the Chinese version of this one right here the tech cut the technic tool um, so they're all kind of the same and maybe about the same quality uh, spring-loaded flush cutters and these ones here don't get used as hard as the ones that I would use in the field and uh, they're not insulated although they technically are they technically are um, there's some some pretty big features that they do not have hmm so the technical technical tool why is it so hard to say that technical tool this this version right here uh it does have a little bump right here so it kind of stops your hand from sliding forward since they are spring loaded your hand just wants to kind of slide down the handles a little bit but these are the better ones um this is part number 758 pl 172 tech cut technical tool they're pretty good cool. These ones here uh, have been my go-tos for years. And uh, then there's all these Chinese variants, which do not have the little lip right here, which prevent your hand from going down. And when you grab these, your hand naturally wants to come down here near the metal. And it's okay for most things, but they're not insulated. So, Nipex. I don't know how long they've been making theirs, but this, this is a variant uh, that's made in Germany. And these are actually rated, voltage-rated tools. They are insulated. So you could technically cut live wiring, which does have to happen sometimes. I mean, sometimes you, you have to pull something out of your box and cut something that's live because something might be really going wrong. And that's why these ones are beautiful. I, I've had uh, Nipex and um, Wera and, and a couple others. Um, what's this brand? Oh, Weha. Weha. I've had insulated Weha tools. And this looks very similar to Weha color scheme. Um, but notice how they have these uh, grip stops right here. And the grip stops keep your hand from sliding forward, plus they also prevent electricity from traveling in a linear pattern. So in other words, uh, on insulated screwdrivers and stuff, there's almost always something to kind of stop your hand, and you know there's always a bunch of insulation between you and the voltage source, which you can see right here. You can see my hands are going to have probably about a half inch to three quarters of an inch worth of insulation. So these ones are very sharp. They have a point, and the point is very nice. They match up beautifully. And um, it's, it's an interesting tool because I, I, I think that this one here is made with a stainless steel. That's what it looks like. And um, the finish is really good. Like the edges are all nice and soft versus some of these ones where you can tell it's just punch steel. So the Weera, uh, I believe these ones here are like $20 to $30. Um, you can find them at various, uh, various price ranges. But 
these are a much better tool. And the problem is with these ones is that the steels that they use, I don't want to say that they're mild steel. It's probably tool steel, but it's still, when, it, when you cut some um, metals, including some thicker coppers, it will indent into the blades. And that's the problem I had the other day. I did a live stream, and when I was trying to cut, when I was trying to cut some uh, string, my blades are just, they're ingrained. And I think that's just from cutting like leads on resistors and stuff. You know, because these ones are over on my soldering bench. So I want a set of these to be in my tool bag. And uh, I think I found this set right here. This is the Nipex uh, 7806125 uh, insulated flush cutters. That's so cool. I, this one here, they feel like they're quality. And, you know, it reminds me of the insulated Weha brand when it comes to quality. So that's flush cutters. Uh, definitely a step up. Next is something that I have had a big problem with in the field is my toolbox, my tool bag, I thought was absolutely fine with uh, the weir tools that I had on hand, which is this one right here. But this is only metric. And since it's only metric, I have had many problems in the field where I have to stop what I'm doing, go all the way back out to my car and get a uh, quarter inch driver set that I had in my car because I only have this many uh, metric. So wouldn't you know it, they make an imperial version. And uh, let's see, what's the part number on this guy? Yeah, who cares? <laughs> tool check plus imperial, tool check plus, uh, they don't say metric, you guys get it. So I am curious because it is imperial, that means that everything inside it is also going to be imperial, which is pretty important because I have some problems with the Allens. The Allens, since those ones are only metric, I've had some problems with medical equipment, although I really thought that medical equipment had almost completely converted over to metric, I have been wrong. So I have a set from 3 16 all the way up to half inch. Uh, the important ones are 7 16 and uh, the 3 8 because the 3 8 is pretty common in medical equipment all over the place. Um, 11 30 seconds, 5 16 and quarter inch. That's a big one. Um, and then over here on the side, uh, we got number one, two, and three of the square drives. I've got Phillips one all the way up to Phillips three. Big plus there. Got a nice large flat blade. And I've got one eighth, five 30 seconds, three 16 and quarter inch and Allen's. Those are some big hitters. And then I have a whole selection of torques. It goes down to, what is that? Um, no, I also have a 332nds Allen hidden back over here in the corner. And let's see, I got T30, T25, T20, T15, T10, T40, T30, T25, T20. Uh, so I got some backups of, of the, um, the Torx, which is good because I use Torx for a variety of things, including removing um, broken Allens. So if you, if you have a stripped out Allen screw, I will take a Torx, pop it in there, and then you can get a grip with your ratchet and then really get that guy out. So it's got an extender bit, which is really kind of stuck in there. So we have an extender bit, the Weera uh, quarter inch ratchet, which is, it's got the thumb wheel on the back. Very nice. I've done a whole video on the Tool Check Plus before. And the infamous little mini driver. And the mini driver is really cool because sometimes you just need to get a bit, get a grip on it, and, and uh, give it a hot supper. But I absolutely needed the, the Imperial version of this. The original Tool Check Plus has been amazing. I've used it all the time, and I use it all the time with this guy right here. My Milwaukee driver, the little fuel, the M12. So I have a extender like this with the Milwaukee with the tool check. And, and between those, I have an entire tool system, but I was missing the Imperial and gosh darn it, I finally got it. And I'm, I'm, I'm very happy about that because um, 
although it's going to add some extra weight. So I might strip some stuff out of the tool check. Maybe I'll just separate these guys right here. We'll see uh, when it comes to weight. I really do like the uh, standard Allens. That's, that's going to be a big plus. So uh, maybe I'll just suck it up and use both of these guys. Well, it is what it is. Anyway, guys, that's it. I got new Nepex pliers, new Tool Check Plus Imperial. Very happy. Those two things are going to solve a lot of problems with me when I'm in the field. And uh, it's going to minimize my tool set which is one of my priorities, is main, maintain a tool bag that is as lightweight as possible, but as useful as possible, you know, with uh, the possibility. So there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you.